teeth on that thing. This one doesn't have teeth though. That's a friendly one. Well, I am in Hanover today. I decided to drive up and visit the Goodwill. Since we're here, I decided we're gonna stop at Black Rose of Hanover before we head home. They're open, I think, until six. So it's 4.30 right now. I'm gonna head in here. I'm not gonna give it too long, uh, but we're gonna see what we can find today. So I think I actually neglected this booth the last time I stopped in, uh, but this time we're going to take a peek. I like that blister oyster. We may have actually looked at that before. I had noticed this teapot. Can't quite make out, and it looks like Hilton. E. Hilton. Those cats are adorable. Handcrafted pot. Oh, I like this. This is nice. What is this? Signed pottery. I almost wonder if this was a perfume bottle. I don't know though. What is it signed? E. I have no idea. E G T. Maybe. It's only 15 bucks, but it was a perfume. It's missing its stopper. There are some sweet glass figurines over here. This looks like Kanawa. Carnival glass, six dollars. <laughs> I, I always recognize this one because of that smile. It's like a devious kitty smile. It's only six dollars, Amberina. Um, I think it's probably worth at least twenty. This is also really pretty. It's Fenton. It's like a blue opaline. Thirty two firm. I don't know, I like the flower on that. Alright, well I might come back to that, but we're gonna see what else we can find. There's a whole lot of Eldrith Santas. Those are Eldrith down there too. I actually have one of those ornaments and it wasn't marked on the bottom, so I wasn't sure who made it. But now I'm feeling pretty confident that it's probably Eldrith. So I'm going to check over this island here and see if there's anything new. It's usually priced at a point where I can't really flip it for a profit, but you never know. My eyes definitely went straight for the Carlo Moretti though. I think they did the last time as well. This is kind of a fun design for a birdhouse. It's a cat's mouth. Five dollars on that. Oh, thank you. I guess I forgot to turn my GPS off. I really like those bookends. One hundred and thirty-five dollars. Herzl P. Herzl. Oh, those are great. Some doggy bookends as well. That biscuit jar is kind of pretty. What do we have on that? 43. Green with gold trim biscuit jar. Musical lid. Oh wow. Does it have, so I guess. Oh, I guess when you take the lid off, it's supposed to serenade you. Redware Apple Bank signed Souders. Chris Souders. 2010. $20 firm on that. This booth always has a bunch of fun, kitschy stuff. <laughs> but I noticed this up here. What in the world is it? It's a monastery bell. Of course that's what it is. I see those all the time. Oh, wow. I thought it would be more difficult than that. <laughs> that's really cool. 20% off. I feel like that's pretty cheap too. 49 bucks. I don't know if it's one of those things that's like made to look old though. Just not sure about it. It's really neat. 
let's check through the figurines. There's some purple cows. Look at these guys. Very sweet. <laughs> these ones are supposed to meow or squeak because the squeakers are broken. I think this is supposed to look like the Dittmer Urbach, maybe. An elephant bank, maybe not. I thought it was a pitcher. That's a pretty little shell. Shell dish. I think this is Cambridge, right? What's it, Cambridge? <laughs> I forget who makes this, darn it. But it's this uh, pink, pink glass. I actually found a piece of this at the hoarder house. It was a giant shell vase for only six dollars. I think that's worth it. These weren't here on my last visit. Ooh, look at this. It's a snake. So it says uh, $19 each, but I feel like that's worth it. That's some really nice glass. I almost wish I had my black light to check them to see if the snakes glow by chance. But for $19 each, yes, no brainer. So as I was sticking these into my cart, I just, I think these may have been um, like bottles. I think they're, they may have had stoppers, but I don't know, I think I'm still gonna get them. Let's see what other glass we have in this booth. I was noticing this in the back. $16 on this one. So it is a satin glass. It does have um, scuffs on it and whatnot, but you can see the inside is amethyst, and I really love that. So I think I'll buy that as well. These look like Fontanini, right? Italy, Depose. They're not marked. Hmm. Just says pair Italian candle holders. They look to be in decent condition for $20. I think I'll take those. My gosh. We're doing pretty good today. Okay, so I think that's it for this uh, booth. You know what? I don't think I looked on the shelf at that. That's beautiful. I love the crimp, the crimped edge. Got a weakness for that. Fifteen bucks. Oh, I've been selling a lot of carnival glass lately. What's this one? It's like a holly and berry pattern, maybe. Ten dollars on that one. We'll take both of those. Now up here, there's just a lot of the marigold. I don't get as excited for the marigold, and that's just a personal preference. It's great for fall though. It's a nice color scheme for fall. So this is like a stippled ray. This is a beaded pattern of some sort, but that's actually a opalescent. Ten dollars. <laughs> you know you want me, I'm only ten. That's what it's saying. I can hear it in my head. Okay, well I'm definitely getting these two, and I think I'm gonna grab the opalescent beaded pattern as well. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what this pattern is called, but you can see the little dots on there, and that would be a beaded pattern of some sort. That's stippled ray. Berries on that. Okay. Alright. I just realized that all of that was in fact 20% off. So that's just fantastic. I'm kind of hoping that this booth has restocked because every time I come through here, I find something fantastic. I've already zeroed in on something and I bet you can't guess what it is. <laughs> it's this. This is amazing. It's Italian. So it's missing um, one of its antennas, but that's incredible. What is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a liquor thing. But you can also hang it on the wall. Although it looks like the spot where it's supposed to hang may be broken. Made in Italy. Gosh, I love it. How much is it? I didn't even look at the price. $24, but this booth is 30% off. I've never seen this thing before, obviously, because it's a rare, it's a rare cream sherry. Um, so maybe I'll take a second and uh, look it up. 
This is crazy. Um, but I looked this up on eBay. I couldn't find any sold listings. I didn't look at the non-completed listings. But then I went to Worth Point and there's two on there. One sold for $10 and one sold for 15 And I'm just blown away. That's all it's worth. I feel like it's worth more than that. So I'm going to grab it. <laughs> now let's see what else we can find here. That looks like a piranha. Look at the teeth on that thing. This one doesn't have teeth though. That's a friendly one. And saw blade. Those look like they're made to look like Mackenzie Childs. With that checkered pattern. They're definitely not. This is great. What is this? This is a fox. It looks like a fox. Adventure fox trinket tray. Oh, he's great. He's made out of metal. A cast metal. And you can see there that he's made out of like pot metal. Which is a soft white metal. And that's probably why his tail is broken but it's also on the underside so you can't really tell we'll take mr. fox and I think that's it for us out of this booth um, I am going to uh, take this stuff up front because it's starting to make me a little bit nervous we've got a lot of glass in here uh, but yeah we'll take it up front and I'll get back to you I was just walking by and noticed this dress back here I thought, oh my gosh, Juliet would look adorable in that. But at the same time, last time I bought her something, I bought her that pink coat. I was really excited about it and she refused to wear it until she got too cold and then she didn't have a choice. This is adorable too. Gosh, I don't even know if she'd fit in that. Girls, Hello Kitty pumpkin dress. My goodness, that's so cute. Obviously, somebody made that. I think she would fit in that. I think if I was to choose between the two, I'd get the Hello Kitty. This one is kind of throwing off Snow White vibes. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, princess. Princess dress. There you go. It is a princess dress. I'm going to buy this for Juliet for Halloween. I have some Smurf glasses in here. And that lamp. It's delightful. I think we looked at that the last time though. I expected it to have a lava glaze and it's smooth. Creamer sugar set. Five dollars. If this one wasn't worn there with the gold, I might consider those. What are these? Interesting. Look. This cow is licking his nose. I'm really shocked there's no markings on those, but I'm pretty certain that they're worth more than 18, so I'm gonna load up on this nativity. Okay, back over to this side. Um, this is fantastic, but I suspect this is the underplate uh, for a gravy boat. The moche. It was a set of those. I scooped them up, but there's only a single. Oh, goodness. Come here, you. This is folk art. $3. I'm pretty sure um, that this was, um, what is it, prison art? Prison art from um, one of the local prisons. We have quite a few pieces of these. Andrew actually has a pineapple um, that it was, I can't remember the name of the ship, but they were immigrants that were um, imprisoned and they spent their time by making pieces like this. This one does look like it may have had something on top. That's only $3. What else do we spy? That is Mark Adams. What kind of creature is that? I'm very confused. I'm not sure what that is. Is it a fish? I don't know. A few weed whimsies. Ooh, here's some pretty art glass. This is 
Unique glass, handmade in Poland. It's not your run-of-the-mill glass, this is unique glass. That was my dad joke for this video. Um, <laughs> here is some crackle glass. Those are pretty, but I'm really drawn to this one. And I think that's all I see. That is very pretty. Five dollars. This is probably Bristol. Uh, Victorian. I'll take that for only five dollars. What about this guy? What's he up to? Hi there, Toad. Carol Ceramics. There's some Jim Shore for ten dollars. Jim Shore, two thousand seven. I'm digging the cat. I noticed there's also some Ray Dunn in here, and I'll just flip that over. Eh, it's not Ray Dunn. It's made to look like Ray Dunn, and I did a really good job making it look that way. I should probably check out the shelves from this side before I walk away. This swan is fantastic. It's a blue opaline glass. And they're all kind of fantastic, but if I had to choose... This one's broken. They're very small and delicate. I think I'm going to take the blue opaline and then I'm going to look at this. What is this? Oh, it's reverse painted. It's reverse painted vase. Okay, is that actual rose fill or is that. And it doesn't feel right? Yeah. That would be fake. This little guy here is adorable, but I'm going to leave him with all of his friends. This one is making me a little bit nervous. I think we're going to go around the corner and head up towards the checkout now. I didn't see the entire mall, but I'm up here often enough that maybe the next time we could start where we left off. This is where I found Flip the Frog the last time. I don't see any more though. I'm gonna check out these rugs back here. These are like hand knotted. Oh, I have such a weakness for rugs. That one's got a hole in the center. I wouldn't know the first thing about fixing that. This one has fun colors. It's really fun colors. I'm gonna unfold that. This is $55. There is a bit of a tear in it, but I could definitely see this in my house. Um, even with the little bit of damage, so I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm not sure yet where I will put it. It's very colorful though, and I love the colors, and I'm willing to forgive that little tear. What's interesting to me is this. That's almost like real hair. I wonder if it's like horse hair or something. I was walking by and noticed this pink depression glass here. Pink well, depression glass in general is not something I normally mess with. I've never seen this pattern before. It's like an Egyptian revival pattern. So I kind of wonder if this was like 1920s whenever they uh, found King Tut because it became very popular um, to have that Egyptian motif. There is a little bit of chipping. Hmm. I'm going to stick it in here and then I'm going to look it up real quick. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what the name of the pattern is. But here is an antique rare big pink glass center bowl Egypt sold in 2013. I think depression glass prices were a little stronger in 2013. Uh, not positive though because I think I was just starting to resell around then. Um, but I know glass prices in general were stronger then. But $399.99. Oh, does it? Does design plume or what? I don't know, but what I do know is um, I think I'm going to take that with me, take a chance on it, even with a few little chips. So I've moved on to an entirely different booth, but I just spotted these up here. More Bristol glass. This booth is 40% off. I guess the price is maybe on the other one. They're kind of matchy-matchy with the big one, uh, but these vases usually came in pairs. It's only $12 and 40% off of those. It's a good buy. But my cart is full, and I think I'm going to leave them. What is this? Mara, that is an enamel on copper. It's very sweet. This looks so familiar, and I feel like I've seen it. 
I saw this recently, right? I picked this up and I looked at it. I could have swore I bought it, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I just looked at it and I was like, oh, that's super cute. $42. Or maybe it was here. Maybe I saw it here. I don't know. I just feel like I'm going crazy. It's a beautiful vase, but if I recall, this booth is kind of spendy. Yeah, $125. They have beautiful stuff in here, but I can't really do much with any of it. Oh, look at this beautiful vase. Hand blown. They have a really nice, oh my gosh, look at how intricate those are. I was walking by and noticed um, these Sajin pieces, and I've done really well with those in the past. Looks like one is $49. I really love that one. And it's sterling, so I could actually wear it, um, which is really tempting because I can only wear gold and sterling. Look at that beautiful micro mosaic in the back. I think maybe I'm gonna ask if I can um, get that purple one out and give it a try. The Cinnabar one is really nice, but I know that the Seijen, um, the best ones to buy and sell, I think are the goddess ones, and I've had a few of those in the past. Well, my total spend there at Hanover Black Rose today was $295, and I got myself a sparkly new bracelet, too. I sent Andrew a picture. I said, I bought myself a new sparkly. He didn't respond yet. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head home now. I feel like we got some really great stuff today, and um, for good prices, too. I'm really excited about that prison art piece. I think that's going to be really good i have bought and sold the eagle before there's there's an eagle that i feel like is probably the most popular design um i've seen two or three of those out when i'm at the antique malls and usually i could pick them up pretty cheap because people don't know what they are um in this case it's a vase and I, like i said andrew has a pineapple uh, but that's a really cool um really cool vase it's, it's not origami because I believe um, it's the Chinese version of origami and I can't remember what the word is for it. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to hit the road home. I've got like 40 minutes home and i got to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I've been making, I've been cooking a lot more than I used to at the new house and um, I'm feeling pretty good about it actually. I've been like looking up recipes and, and making stuff and so far no one has gotten sick so that's a very good sign. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.